What's up guys and everyday Canadian? I wasn't plan on making a video today. You know, I'm a little bit under the weather. Um, I'm basically stuffed up right now. Um, wasn't really going to make a video. I have something coming in the mail that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you guys. Um, we will get to that. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the garden and what I've been doing to kind of help a little bit. Um, the things that I've been doing wrong, the things that I'm uh, help by making things better. Um, so, bacon soda. Um, doing some research and all that, I found out that bacon soda is actually very beneficial for your garden. So, um, for those who don't know, I've been overwatering my plants. Um, as as you can see down here. Um, my leaves have been turning yellow. That's from overwatering. It could also be from too much nitrogen. It's burning the leaves. Um, overwatering, you usually get these uh, curled up leaves. So I haven't watered in about three days. I'm going to go for about, well, as long as I can, as long as the soil dries up, we're going to go by that. Um, I added bacon soda to my um, garden because uh, it's very beneficial in a bunch of ways. Um, it helps with the blooming process. Um, I actually already have flowers coming in on my plants. Um, so it actually helps with blooming. If you guys have ever bought roses or any type of flowers, it comes with a little uh, package. That's just bacon soda. That's all it is. So. Um, I added baking soda to all my plants, most of my plants. And uh, these are all hot peppers, all of them, every single one. Besides these guys, the kids wanted to uh, grow some sunflowers. So they are growing some sunflowers. Plants are doing amazing. They are doing good. Just I'm over watering too much and uh, just stop watering if that ever happens. Just don't do it at all. Um, Bacon soda also helps uh, keep your plants a little bit greener. They uh, will actually um, strengthen up with bacon soda. And um, if you guys ever get, uh, one of the questions I always get is the white stuff that actually grows along your uh, plants. And that's perfectly fine. It's a type of white fungi. It's um, completely safe. It won't hurt your plants. If anything, it's beneficial. Um, uh, like I said, it prevents diseases, it prevents uh, mold, it has a bunch of uh, beneficial factors because um, bacon soda is oxygenated and it's uh, got plenty of hydrogen in it. And another thing bacon soda does is um, it keeps bugs right out of your soil. Some soil actually contains uh, eggs and has little critters already in it. Most soil is frozen and they actually hatch when they're uh, a little bit in a warmer climate, usually typically brought in indoors. So I just wanted to do a short video and update you guys on why I've been using baking soda. It's completely fine. So all you guys out there that are not using baking soda, it's completely fine. I'm just doing something a little bit different. That's all I'm doing. Um, wanted to share just another update with you. Like I said, I'm not feeling too good right now. But I went ahead and added bacon soda to the uh, soil. So um, another thing I want to talk to you about is that um, if your soil starts to bubble, it's got a high acidic acid in it. So I'm um, just... Um, Add some baking soda, it'll uh, bring down to the pH level back to normal. But um, I think there's like 60 or 70 hot, hot pepper plants with like 10 or 15 uh, different varieties. So um, these guys are growing massive. This is just the basement, you know, just an average grow. Um, can't put the plants out till June. I still got a couple months and the reason why June is because it's only way to be sure that um, We have ne the nicest weather in June So I'll put them out in June. I got a bunch of different plans 
Um, I have another video coming out to uh, show you guys how I water my plants. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Just um, I'm not really feeling the greatest, and it's my 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 chest really hurts right now. <laughs> But uh, some of the leaves are actually uh, curling, and that's because you're overwatering. If they're yellow, it's from your overwatering. And uh, just stop overwatering because pepper plants don't need actually a lot of water at all. So um, I think I'm doing something right. These plants are doing awesome, just massive. Now, your plants aren't going to die if they're yellow, so don't worry. They'll come back. Like I said, um, the uh, baking soda hydrates your plants, makes them more brighter and greener. If your plant's sick, just add a little bit of uh, baking soda to your soil. You guys can also add a tablespoon to your cups of the water in the bottom. Just add water, take a tablespoon of baking soda, stir it up, and uh, feed it that way. It'll be completely fine. So I uh, just wanted to update you guys. Uh, everything's going good. Um, if you guys want to see how I'm watering my plants next as an experiment, uh, like on this video. Leave me a comment, guys. Follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. This is an Everyday Canadian. Take care, guys.